one of the most sobering questions that we are asked to answer is, what do I do when my child's aggressive? What do I do when my child is physically violent? This is a really challenging issue for families who have children who are significantly disordered because of their histories. Now, I will say we use levels of response, and there are four. We typically don't have to use more than the first three unless a child has been exposed to substance and or very harsh circumstances. If a child's brain is changed dramatically by abuse or by in utero harm, they're far more likely to be aggressive and violent. Now, one important thing to remember is you're going to catch and extinguish most forest fires when there's sparks to be successful. So being proactive rather than waiting for an escalation. I can say to the child early on, oh, I'm listening, but he tried again. I have to be aware that as my child escalates and the risk is greater and greater, that I'm gonna to have to use a different tone. I'm gonna to have to use less touch um, because once they become accelerated and the adrenaline starts pumping, the senses become acute. So if I touch them, they're likely to harm me. Dealing with aggression and violence, verbal aggression and physical violence is uh, one of the most sobering responsibilities that we have. There are a number of types of training if you are a parent who is fostering, you'll need to find out what your agency and your state uh, teach and be trained in that. If you are a parent who is adopting or has adopted, then you might consider CPI training, crisis prevention, intervention, Satori training. In both of these cases, they will show you how to de-escalate behaviors and then will show you safe ways to manage and contain violence and aggression. The most important thing, once we have passed the aggression or the violence though, is to reconnect. I am never done with a child who has acted out in any way until I've got that child back on solid footing. So once I have seen a child through a episode of some kind, I'm going to ask that child to talk to me and I'm going to say, tell me what you need. Now, I'm not going to start out with, what did you do wrong? because at that point I'm just working to reconnect with that child. I'm gonna say, tell me, buddy, what do you need? Tell me what you need. And very often I'll have a child who's just had a violent episode, physically aggressive acting out episode for 45 minutes, say, I need something to eat. And I will meet that need with joy, with joy and swiftness. Um, as the child talks with me, I'll say, tell me what happened, buddy. And ultimately I wanna say, if you use words and tell me what you need, if it's in my power, I'll move heaven and earth to meet that need. But when you hit me, I just don't understand what you're asking for. So if you can tell me with words, I'll do everything in my power to meet your need. Dealing with aggression and violence for a child from a really hard place usually will extinguish over a period of weeks or maybe a few months as the child learns they have voice with you, that they are safe with you. But if you have a child that's at risk for this acting out behavior, you'll need to seek further training that's specialized in how to manage and contain aggression and violence.